Hello, everyone. RBG Kimki, you're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. In the last video, we, uh... I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't get anything from here now. In the last video, we, we matched all the gym leaders, and now we're about to do that ace tournament, which is actually the last thing to do in the game. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to really cover or for us to do. I forgot, I was going to mention this last time, too. It's like, oh, yeah, DLC. So a lot of people expect, like, this to be DLC is, like, whatever this part of the map is. Because it's, like, it's so weird that, like, it's covered like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't know what they will do for DLC, but we'll see. I mean, if if it's only one DLC thing, then I guess I can see it this way. But if there's multiple DLCs, like uh, Sword and Shield had, where it was two areas, I don't know. So, we'll see. But yeah, guys, this is it. So let's just go to bed. Because we can't do anything else. Yeah, there's really nothing else for us to do one week later. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to do that we haven't already done that's not like... Thanks to Nomona's pushing in a bit of cooperation from the Pokemon League. Today finally arrived for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Hi, Nomona. Hey, Andrew. I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting. Memorable. But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. Then even Director Clavel got, it, got into calling it that, so now I'm just like, ah. Anyway, how are you feeling, Angie? In the mindset to do some winning? Hells yeah. There's that enthusiasm. Show us what a champion's made of. It's so cool that Lab Premier is going to make a guest appearance, thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have my hands full with all the behind-the-scenes admin stuff. I wouldn't even get to do any battling myself. But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No stalling. I, I've said before and I said again. I do like Nimona. I think Nimona is my favorite, uh, my favorite rival of all time. Nothing wrong with Hop or, um... Sun and moon and uh, whatever, but still. Hey, you are, Andrew. You gotta go through the application process with a staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? Alright, the rules of the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But losing once, you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. Last round standing, the only person to win all their matches will be deemed the best of all the Academy's ace. Thanks. Thanks very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with help of Director Clavel. Based on the number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget, you might go up against the faculty too. The tough stuff, so good luck and be even tougher. The only person allowed to beat you is me. I like Nimona. Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. So, the Academy Ace Tournament. The first time you go through it is set. But every time afterwards, it's going to be random. I guess, I guess you can't really do the Elite Four stuff anymore. Like, you can't go face the Elite Four anymore. So this is basically like your way to grind for money if you ever need to grind for money. Oh there, would you like to enter the Academy Ace Tournament? Yeah. Master Andrew, a champion rank trainer, eh? Right? Okay, you're all registered to the contest. Please head down to the battle court. It seems everyone is here. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. 
We have a new champion here at Naranja Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Andrew. For real, that's amazing. Plain Hancho Muchiaocho. Oh, way to go, champ. Gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. Today's tournament is organized by your student council president, Ms. Namona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite you I invite you all here to see for yourself the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the tons of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of the esteemed faculty. Now, without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament our school battle brawl begin! All right, let's jump right into the first round, everyone. Who will the fates pair up with today? Champion Andrew will be facing Arvin from Class 2G. You've got to be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy right up from the first round. So how about Andrew? Bet you're surprised to see me in this tournament, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That dumbfounded expression is what I wanted to see. See, when we went down to Area Zero, it really drove home to me how I need to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special, super serious training with my boss staff on my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today I'm here to win, even if it might only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. Ooh, this music's nice. I want you to be on the same. Want you and me to be on the same level. So I'm going to win this without holding back. Ooh, these are some high levels. Yeah, so definitely I should probably grind my Pokemon to level 80. But ah, it's fine. I'll be fine. did I use against Skull then? I think I used Sodium, did I not? It's so hard because he's grass. He's grass uh, fire, so. Let's go, villain. I'm actually curious, will they fully um, heal our Pokemon in between each round? I would assume they would. Toast the cool. Ground. Grass. I don't think grass is weak. Our ground is weak. Mm, ice is weak to ground, but. But yeah, so I need to do this in order to do six star raids and. or seven star. five star raids and six star raids. So then I'm able to do the Charizard event, which hasn't. the second one hasn't happened yet as of this recording. But. That's like, why, you know? That's like, yeah, that's kind of like one of the reasons why I'm doing this all now. So yeah, this is actually going to be the last part until DLC comes out, so. Okay, you still have two Pokemon left. I'm a boss stiff, and I can't remember who the other one was. Did you have Sturdy? You did not have Sturdy. Alright, stuff rock great. Oh. 
oyster. Well, I haven't had you out. But having you out against a cloister would not be great, so... Gadget. Put everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. I wish I, like, I know I looked up what Mold Breaker does, but I don't remember what it does. The slide of this school battle brawl, my boss, is brighter than anyone. Anybody. Stop missing! Come on, Gadget. Thank you. <sighs> You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know. First round battle is Champion Andrew. Oh, all right, that professor's kid, kids put up a heck of a fight. What a spicy start! And that's only the first match. Phew, the strength of the champions is legit. That's the least I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. Better try as hard as you as I would have in round two for me. Next is the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear this matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Andrew will be facing Jack, the biology teacher. Well, hello, Andrew. I hear you went out of your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. It's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the home ring teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie. I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Hold well, on, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. Oh shit. Show me what you got in your own way and at your own pace. Yeah, 
yeah, they do heal us up. So. Mudsdale, ground type. Yes, that's a grass type. Little bro, psychic type. Psychic water. Wallot, poison. Are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Still <laughs> and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. I guess I didn't know what he's going to terrestrialize into. It could be psychic. Or it could be normal? Is he just, is he normal as well? Not the psychic.
Oh. Wow, you did great. And the winner of the second round battle is champion Andrew. You beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Andrew? You're more fit for the teaching possession, profession than I am with the that balance confidence of yours. Mr. So Shock, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh, uh oh. Uh, hi, director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. The fuck you going on about? You're a great teacher, you son of a bitch. Finally, our four only four trains remain. Time for our contestants to face their third matches, everybody. Match of the spell will be Champion Andrew versus Dendra, the Battle Studies teacher. I fucking love her. I love her and the history teacher. These two, those, two, I mean, I like, so I like, I like, um, I like history. I like Dendra. I, I like the, uh, Jack isn't bad, but he's like, eh. He's that, I mean, I've, we've seen all these tropes before, but he's definitely that, Dopey teacher, you know, he's like, ah, I'm not blah blah blah, you know. Um, at least that's why I get the impression of him. I, I like the home e economics guy, but I really love the nurse. So the top three is de definitely Dendra, nurse, and history. I love those three. Dendra, the battle studies teacher. Oh, soon, new kid. This school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And here, you're the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid, no, Champion Andrew. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lend my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in a battle, can I? So don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm going to give it all I've got. Yeah, <laughs> I like her. Phalanx. Let's have a good, clean battle, okay? Best of luck. You are moving way too fast for me, lady. Glaive Rush. Good news about her is she's definitely going to be fighting type, so... Toros. Oh, but it's the... F so... Here's the thing. Toros has two... Um, has two types. Um, actually, it has technically three, I think. It has the it, there's the regular torso that you find, which I think is just a fighting type, and then you can encounter Koros that also has fighting type or fire type, and also um, water type. It all depends on what game you have. In Scarlet, you find a Tauros with fighting if, or with fire. In um, Violet, you find it with water. And how you do that is you need to eat a sandwich with the with a high encounter of fire or water. And then you just gotta find the a herd of Tauroses and they'll be like one in the middle. Halucha. I like Play Rough's animations like yoink. Tauros. So this is going to be the one with the water type too.
I like the music for this. Yep, and see, there it is, the, the water there. Yeah, the, mu the music for this game is being really good. Um, I love the ruinous Pokemon's music theme. This isn't bad. I, I don't, rem I don't think, and the Professor Sada track is really good. Is this our last Pokemon? I think it is. The Professor Sada track is pretty good. I'm just not a big fan of the freaking gym leader's regular battle music. <laughs> I think the Elite Four battle music was pretty decent as long as well as the um um oh I thought Medichan would have been an ace man because Medichan is always out with you um uh Area Zero's actually music's pretty good too. Toby Fox did a great job of helping out with some of the music for this game. I don't know if he helped out with all... No, he didn't help with all of them. He There's a list. You've got a real fight in you, new kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. Nimona's final battle music was really good, too. I think he helped out with that one. I think he helped with Professor Sada. He might have helped with the Ruinous Pokemon, too. Aim to push past your limits day by day. Osu! Okay. D <laughs> Is the Terra stronger or something? It looks like it's stronger or different. Terrestrializing. It looks different. Like it looks like a a headband more so on the bottom. Like I don't know. I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Oh, Sue! The Pokedex has been updated. Was there a Pokemon I didn't fight? And the winner of this third round battle is Champion Andrew! No way, I got crushed. But I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive change, chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day, too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the bell. Keep aiming for the top in the tournament. And don't forget. I thought she was wearing brass knuckles. No, they're just, um, gloves. This tournament, and don't forget. Osu, Osu, Osu! I wonder who I'm fighting last. There's one last match in the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce the two trainers who will be facing off to finally determine who's strongest in the academy. It's champion Andrew up against... It's Geta. A special guest join our tournament, the top champion, Geta! Good day, champion, Andrew. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. Hone strength against hone strength. Such a class is what captures the crowd and makes their hearts race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the cha chairperson of both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Andrew. Our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let's show you the full might of the top. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. I don't know. Your fucking ace still should be what your setup is. Like, what the fuck, Game Freak, with that? Espasta. Let us set example for everyone, you and I. Crunch! <laughs> so I, say, I should provide one more Jasmine Queen. Oh, hey, there's Ramona in the background there. I don't know if she's been there the entire time, but that's actually kind of cool. King Gambit, okay. Dark type. But dark steel. Gone. Yeah, King King Gambit should have definitely been the ace. For multiple reasons. One, it's way better than having the Glim Glam for the setup. Two, 
Supreme Overlord, which you get more strength depending on how many of them are have been knocked out. Go, Goat. Kamaravi, the reliable partner. I should have changed my entire team to be the ch their champion ranks. I'll show you what that is after this, like how, how all those things came out and about and such. Avalog, Ice. Which I guess, I'll be honest, am I putting up the same matchups? I know for sure for Gogo, but for Avalog, did I have him or did I have uh, someone else? I might have had uh, Greta, for, or Greta. I might have had, um, I'm, I could have put Gone or I could have put in, uh, Gadget, because Gadget has, um, um, steel type moves, and steel is strong against ice, so. Stone Edge. I might have done this. And Salt Cure should definitely take care of it. Baluza. Actually, did I use all six of my Pokemon? I don't think I used all six of my Pokemon in my fight against her. I think I, I just sent out the people that were super effective against the, all of her Pokemon. So she'll have one more Pokemon after this, which is her Ace, which should be her setup. But what do I know? Hey, we broke. We. You know, ab fuck it. Pokemon's move moves are unimpended by the ability of the target. Still don't fully me know what that means. But as we learned in the last video, this thing's also psychic type, so hey. Or at least I remembered it. Yeah, I think I just always had, um, I just brought out, uh, Cheshire for that, so. We'll make this match a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle. Yeah, sound out your ace, which should be your setup. I guess they wanted her to have her team be rock because of the the five titans with the four with the elite four in her. They each had their or at least their main type. Can you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea Glimora? That so she had rock. First person had I can't remember ground. She had ground. Then Poppy had steel. Larry had flying. And of course, uh, Hazel was dragon. So You're the only one I didn't lose any Pokemon to. Gadget's my highest level Pokemon. The future of Valdea is bright indeed.
Uh, unbelievable! Ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament! And thus, the strongest trainer of the whole camp is Champion Andrew! Woo! Andrew, you did it! You did it! Andrew! 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 Andrew, wake up. It's all been a dream. What? That's right. You're starting your first day of school today. Ah, oh, man. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I'd like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off of any of the matches. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. That is our motto at Nord Naranja Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up here there. I now turn the floor over to our special guest, Chairwoman Geta. The friendly rivalry of the trainers, the cheering and encouragement from the crowd. I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the academy. No, for the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Andrew was far stronger today than when he took the Pokemon League's final test. It's clear that he strives to become better every day even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincerest hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aims for new heights. And that the seeds may, seeds for May may, more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all of your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gret Geta. Now, alas, it's time for this whole, for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But, this event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build repertoire between the faculty and students and invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So, I hereby declare that the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Woo, awesome, Director Clavel, you're the best. Ah, oh, look at our nurse there. Maybe I'll join next time too. Oh my gosh, yes, this is everything I wanted. I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Absolutely. I won't miss it for anything. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you all for joining us here today, and I hope you'll, you're all excited for the next one. Yay, thank you! Andrew, you did it. Congratulations on winning it all. I'm so happy it almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. Oh yeah, here's your prize. Sporty Cap, Pokemon League. Director, Director Clavel told me he got caught up in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So I guess you got get the strongest in the school throne for now, Andrew. Keep it warm for me. I'm going to be in the tournament next time, and I'll be coming right for you. Whenever you feel like entering a tournament again, just talk to the staff at the front desk. You know, Andrew, I've relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I met you. I mean it. Me too, I mean it. <laughs> come on, don't make me blush. Anyway, I'll be seeing you at the battle court for a good long time to come. Alright, guys. That's it. Hello, hello, Andrew. This is Jacques. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I sure am proud to have one of my students become an Academy's Ace. Uh, Mr. Jacques. Uh, don't worry, Dr. Clavel. I'll get to that point now. I'm actually calling you to tell you the highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We can report, at, report after report from Academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up the investigation these, to investigate in these raids, but we're still a bit short-handed. So, we were wondering if you could enlist your help since you're the Academy's ace and all. How about it, Andrew? Leave it to me. Ooh, thank you. Project Almag records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just take on a lot of these tough terror raid battles. But don't get in over your head. Even the Academy's ace needs to be careful. I sure would be sad if one of, your precious students is one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. So, yeah, now I can go and, uh,. Fight these high leveled uh, raids, even though I can't really tell the difference unless 
they are they need to be um they need to refresh or something or maybe they're just like that but yeah guys that's it this has been pokemon scarlet i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me say a few things so i know i talked about most of the my issues with this game when we uh were doing the credits but i do like this game it's weird that the most janky i don't really want to say broken but the most jank of the pokemon games i had or the most jankish of pokemon i still had fun with it now i definitely see why people you know have issues with it i've had issues with it too although i probably haven't had as many issues it was more so I had issues. It's weird. I've had more issues on my on my violet file than I had on my um on this file. I've had a couple of issues on violet where okay, so um when you beat Mela and you get your badge from her, you know you're doing a shake hand and you're supposed to be like in pain. But in my vi violet file, here, you know what? I'll show you right here. So in my violet file yeah, I just have a regular face. It's like, mm, like that, that shouldn't be the face. I should have like, you know, a whole like, you know, a face like, ah, oh, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. But in here, it's just like, nope, you just have a regular, uh, you just have your regular, um, face. I'm like, mm. and then a couple of times, well, not a couple of times. I was just, I was doing a terror raid. Thank God it was just by myself, you know, uh, and I wasn't online, but the terror raid, I think I mentioned this before, but the terror raid just crashed. Um, or my game, my game just like froze. Like it was like frozen on like an attack. It was like, I think it was like, oh, the, the terror, whatever Pokemon we were fighting was like, oh, uh, the attack froze or something. Some, it was like, or it had no effect or whatever, you know, it had stuff like that. And that was really the only time I ever had an issue with that. So yeah. Um, this game definitely needed voice acting. I don't care. Game Freak and the Pokemon Company is probably the highest roast. Get the most bank money out of any kind of company at all. Because it helps that they release two games. Two of, this, two of the same games with some differences every, every time they do this shit. And people like me. I know I'm part of the problem. People like me buy two or each buy a copy. So that's like right away. That's like, hey, here you go. So that's like two, so like that right there, they just got 120 bucks for me right there. And of course you got people that just buy one copy or people that buy multiple copies, like people buy two copies of Violet or two copies of, or four copies or two of each, you know? It's whatever. Here's Nimona's house. So I guess her parents are the ones who made, what did they make again? I can't remember. They talked about it during one of the things, but I think it was something with the Rotom phones. Um, but no, anyway, so you got that. Of course, you get the pop-ins and the... Here's the thing. I It's Pokemon. I don't really care too much about the graphics, but there has to be at some extent. It's like, hey, this is like, you know, it could look a little bit better. Like, voice acting. Anyway, that's what I was talking about. Voice acting. I don't care. They get a bit... Wait, what the hell is that? That was, that was just literally a Pokeball on the ground in there. This company has a bajillion dollars. That's enough to see. Look, why is there just a? There's just a. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Ah. Speaking of jank, and then of course we had another one too. Where like, you know, there's just Pokemon like pecking through the walls and such. Like that's you know that's whether my flutter hair or whatever the mischievous one looks like, or it's called whatever. So you get stuff like that. Like there's jank. Like holy shit, this game still needs polish. But anyway, it doesn't have to be 100% voice acted. I never want Pokemon to be 100% voice acted. At least these kind, at least this kind of a style of Pokemon game. If they change up the formula and maybe change up what what the Pokemon is, then maybe, maybe it can have 100% voice acting. But for now, when it's when it's like this, when you just you know you going around doing your gym battles and all that stuff. It does not need to be 100% voice acted, but holy fucking shit, when it is those cutscenes that the text automatically moves, those could be voice acted. And there was like, what, maybe 10 of those scenes or something like that? 
It's not a lot. And sure, people are like, oh, but they, uh, they, they don't, they, they don't have the casting for the anime or such like that, or some, some bullshit. It's like, who cares? Sure, it'll be weird if the character for if Nimona's character is voiced by a different character in the anime than they are in the, um, than the game. But who cares? I didn't even see that up there. Why the fuck was that there? Um, sure, who, like it's not that big of a deal to me, but at the same time, it's like, what the hell? Like, that's just an excuse. And the promotional stuff. I said this before with the Iono promotional thing. Pokemon is never going to look like that. And those have voice acting. Were people up in arms about Iono's character having a voice? No. So why should so why should they not have some voice acting in this game? Iono didn't even talk in this game. In terms of, like, those cutscenes. It was only, like, Nimona, the director, Arvin... Penny, and I guess all of, all of Team Star and the direct and uh and uh Greta, and of course like Sada or whatever professor you had, but still like come on, this game it deserves voice acting because holy fucking shit, scenes would be so much more better if it had voice acting. Again, does not need to be 100. Never, ever will I advocate for Pokemon to be 100 voice acting. That's just ridiculous. With like. All the random people and such. Like, even just, like, randomly talking to people. Like, yeah, no. Does not need to be 100% voice acting. I liked some of the new... Actually, let me actually look at the old... Have, have I caught all the new Pokemon? I think I have. Obviously, besides, like... In terms of stars, I love all the stars. I think they're all great. Uh, Lechonk and Oinkalong are pretty fine. I don't mind like the I don't mind these two, but in terms of my uh, this my look kicks is my definitely my favorite like bug type Pokemon. Pommy and all this like that's cool like oh yeah you're an electric fighting so maybe I should put you in my vi uh, my vi uh, Violet um team. It's not bad, but I feel like the design for this is definitely like oh it just stood up oh it just got more hair like in terms of this is definitely kind of like one of the I hate saying this because. I, I know it's not. I mean, it's bas it's basically somewhat the same as Houndor, Houndor to Houndoom. It's like, but it's just literally like it's just standing up and it's just got more hair. It's nothing too drastic, you know. Um, but I still love it. Um, it's a decent Pokemon. Uh, I freaking love Wooper and Claude Sire. That's really cool. We actually, we yeah, Wooper is the only one that's a Paldean region only pokemon of course like yeah like it's weird that we have you know diglett and tandem mouse and mouse hold are fucking weird in terms of like their things so it's whatever um i love small lives evolution it's so cute uh oh yeah fido and uh and uh fido and uh that evolution that's cute as well Pure Fairy, awesome. Oh yeah, Flapple is the evolved form. I don't know why I thought it wasn't. That was my fault. That was dumb. Um. Oh, I love, I love this too. Like this is actually a pretty cool one. I like this uh, line as well. So in terms of the new Pokemon, I actually kind of really liked all of them in terms of like, you know, looks or such like that. A Nile Ape fucking amazing i love it of course i think a lot of people love this line the char cadet and the armorage or cerule edge you know i think a lot of people like those yeah fire ghost is uh fire child fire warrior fire blade plus it also like a lot of people just call them freaking mega man characters which they kind of are well, that's actually kind of cool with that stuff there um Tad bulb and belly bolts, not bad. They're pretty cute. The, I guess this is technically the bird uh, region. The, the killer waddle, the flying electric, which is a pretty interesting, you know, uh, setup. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get an evolution, but I'm not surprised. I just hope in Gen 10 that we do. Dun unspar arse is. Or dude done sparse is again. It's just I feel like another laziest evolution. While at the same time, Barikarif is actually 
I actually liked it. I think that's what a lot of people expected an evolu evolved form of giraffe ridge would look like would be this. So, that's actually pretty cool. Um, Mass Shift and Maboss Stiff, pretty cool. I, I like them. Um, Stroidal and Garafi, not bad. If I had to pick probably a least favorite, that might be one of my least favorite ones. Oh, yeah, I guess Tauros. Tauros technically ha is a Paldean, uh, Paldean form. And then, of course, it can become fire, water, or fire, or fighting water, or fighting fire, too, so. Yeah, so, Tauros and, uh, Tauros and Whoop are the only ones that had Paldean forms, and then you had ones that, like, oh, like, Toad's the Cool. Toad's the Cool is not a... Is not a Paldean variant of Tentacool. It's its own thing. Same with Toast to cool Rule. And that's the same with Wiglet and uh, Wug Trio. Um, Bramblim, not bad. Cloth, not bad either. Had promise, but holy crap. Scovillain is one of the ugliest Pokemon ever, if I'm being honest. And our first ever Grass Fire. But I guess... Relo, Relor, not bad. And I've I've seen its evolution forms, not bad either. So, um, Flittle and Esparatha, not not bad either. They're pretty cool as uh, psychic Pokemon. Um, love it. MVP right here. MVP is the Tinka Tink, Tinka Tough, and Tinka Ton. I love them. They're probably like one of my favorite Pokemon. I already mentioned them. Bomber Bird, that's eh, whatever. Finny's in, and it's okay. So its evolution form is literally this, but it has a heart. But then it also has like a hero form, which I have no idea how it works. So it's whatever. Uh, Varum and Reverum, not bad. I I think they're pretty interesting. It's steel, steel poison. That's cool. Cyclozar, pretty cool. But I guess it makes sense. It doesn't have an evolution. Orthworm, I love it. It's derpy, and I loved it. Um, I don't think these are anything. Special. Yeah, no, these are the Dreppies, so that's not so bad. Glimlet, not bad. Rock Poison. Oh, Rock Poison. Okay, so that's like that. Well, Grass was super affected on hers because of that. Graveyard and Houndstone, I love them. Because Ghost Dogs, hells yeah. Um, I don't think these are anything too special. Yeah, no. They are not. Um... I'm glad we got some Pokemon that we haven't had in that weren't in Sword and Shield in here as well, but there's still a quite a amount of Pokemon from so that weren't shown up in Sword and Shield or that haven't been in games since you know Sun and Moon. I love this Pokemon too. It's derpy as hell, and I love it. I mean, it's basically, I th it's basically, I think it's, I think what they say it is. This is basically a Whalmer that came to land in a way. As weird as that is, so. Uh, King Gambit's pretty cool. I do like that some... I do like the fact that some Pokemon did get evolutions, but at the same time, it's like, mm. Again, like the Dunsparce one, and Giraffe Ridge one's pretty good, but the Dunsparce one's the one that really is like, huh. King Gambit's pretty fucking cool, though. Big Blade Pokemon. Belusa, Eh, it's not terrible, but... I feel like it could have been better, you know? The Donzo, I, I think it's really hilarious. And I freaking love, I love Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri, love it. The Tosechi form, the Curly form, your Dropy form. And a creep Pokemon. And the Paradox Pokemon. Paradox Pokemon are interesting. Like, in terms of, like... Ground fighting, which is pretty cool, which I think is that's the only one that's ground fighting. You know, you have all the prehistoric ones, and then in Violet, there's all the futuristic ones, so I'm sorry you can't see them, because I don't have any of them. Um, but the weird thing is, like, in terms of all of them, like, the, the, the cool things about these ones, they all have, like, a decent things. While all the ones in Violet, their first, their first ones are always iron. So, for the Dawn Fan one, it's iron tusk. I think that's, like, iron... Dino or something like that, because that's Trantard. That is actually kind of hilarious. So, I think the Lavatar line is only exclusive to Scarlet. 
and the bag online is exclusive to Violet. However, they get a they get the paradox form of Tranitar, and we get the paradox form of Salamance, which I think is a little hilarious. So, the box legendaries are cool. I actually really like all these two. I don't know why a lot of people get on. Yeah, there it is on freaking ski board or something. Coin entity poke. Coin chest Pokemon, coin entity Pokemon. I don't know why a lot of people get on Goldie. Ghoul. Golden Go. I think I like it. I like it. Because I like the fact that the chest is also its like belt theme. That's pretty cool. I love this Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. Ice Dragon. Really fucking cool. Not not unique. Kiriam. Or Kir Kiriam was an Ice Dragon. Which I. Oh, that, so it's Ice Fin. Ice Fin and then Ice Dragon. That's really cool. I mean, this thing's straight up Godzilla. I don't care what anyone says. And these, I like these. These four are very unique as well. And I like them. And of course, of course, the box legendaries are pretty cool. I do like Coridon a little bit more than Maria, Maridon here. It is weird that you would think like the last Pokemon would be some, a Pokemon that everyone could get. Not just depending on which one it is. So, But yeah. But anyway, guys. That's it for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, or Scarlet for now, until DLC comes out where we get new Pokemon, most likely, new Pokemon, new areas, new story. Yeah, very interesting. Again, like I said, it's in the right direction, but holy crap, there's just a lot of jank to this game. It's just, it has a lot of stuff. That's all it is. Hi, Mom. We haven't seen you since literally episode one, and here we are at episode, like, what, 30-something? Andrew, what a nice surprise. Have you been enjoying the treasure hunt of yours? I'm just so happy seeing you learn and grow in the great outdoors, so I prefer some things to help you on your adventure. Here, there's sandwiches recipes just for you, so you can fit even more veggies in your meals. Put these recipes to good use and add more tasty veggies to your meal than before. Study hard and play hard, that's why I say. You should enjoy your days as a student. Thanks, Mom. So, yeah, you get some veggie sandwiches from her. Oh, yeah, let's check out that new cap that we got. Um, but, yeah, I just, um, it's not bad. By any stretch of the imagination, it's just like, ew. It's just one of those things that's like, you know, oh, I should have had gloves on the entire time. Oh, it's not a big of a deal. I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. So, there are issues with this game. Can they be fixed? Some of them can, but again, I think I will always be in the camp of this game deserved at least another year of development, but that's a whole... Bag of Worms with Pokemon Company, Game Freak, and Nintendo as a whole. That needs to be discussed. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching Pokemon Scarlet. Watching this episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, when we come back, I don't know. Like I said, there will most likely be some form of DLC for this game. Instead of, like, a third entry like they done in the past, which they haven't done technically since um, Black... Mm, actually, no. The last time there was a third entry of games was... Gen 4. Gen 4 was the last time they actually had entries of a third entry with uh, Platinum. Ever since then, it's always been like a re-release of two games. So you have Black and White, then you have Black and White 2, and Sun and Moon, then you had Ultra Sun and Moon, and then you had Sword and Shield, which then had... Oh, and, oh no, no, no. Scratch that, scratch that. I forgot about X and Y. X and Y never had a third entry or a sequel series. X and Y is the only one that never did that. I kind of forgot about XY because of that. Oh, well. So I'll say, wait a minute. So Sun and Moon wasn't the only 3DS Pokemon game. But yeah. I hope, again, my hope is that hopefully, you know, especially because of such an uproar that this game had, that a lot of, that hopefully Game Freak, Pokemon Company, and everyone kind of just looks inward and be like, hey, we probably should rearrange, we probably should work better and give our customers the things that they need, you know? But again, with everyone saying like, oh, this game's janky as fuck, it's great, it's awful, and blah, 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 but it's the best Pokemon game ever, and people just buy it, I don't think they ever will. Which is unfortunate, but... All right, guys, like I said, thank you all so much for watching this game. 
watching this series. Watching um, watching the series whether you watch it all or every now and then watch some parts. I did enjoy this game and hopefully updates will fix it and such. Um, I'm definitely ready to take on the Charizard Terra battles when those pop up again. Which means I'm going to be... I got... I gotta get ready for my Violet file as well so I can get that Charizard too. But the good news is, as long as I, I think as long as you are like able to take on those, you can just join people too, so that's fine. Like I probably would have been able to do that on the on the part where we finished the uh, the way home, the last bit of the story there. Oh, I should probably talk about the story too. I I haven't really talked about all the good stuff I like, um, but the. Uh, Without doing the post-game stuff, I think I could have joined them, but the event was already done. The event wrapped up at like 4 p.m. my time, I think. I was way past that by the time that was done. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so I like, I did like how they set up the stories here too. You know, with the three stories, and then they all meet up in, at the end. I like that too. I think that was a really good touch. You know, with the Titan Pokemon, obviously the gym leagues and the team star thing. So yeah, it was not bad. Plus, like, I kind of talked more about that in that part, like, a few parts ago, so. But, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a like button a click. And comment down below if you like about the video. Do you like about the video? And let me know, guys, what do you think of the uh, Ace thing? The Ace uh, um, tournament, whatever it was called. Academy Ace. I thought it was really fun. It's a good. It was a nice end, I'd say, for now of this story um and yeah what are you guys looking forward to in in uh dlc um what do you think we'll get for dlc again i think like a lot of people think that the dlc is going to be taking place somewhere over here because i don't know because of this if it does it does that's pretty cool but i don't know we'll see i don't know what else they can really do for dlc or like where we can go in terms of dlc but we'll see what kind of new, what kind of Pokemon would you hope they bring back? Will they, maybe will they make more Paldean region Pokemon? Because like I said, they've only had two. They only have Wooper and Tauros, and then they have a couple Pokemon that are like, oh, they look like other Pokemon, that, but that, but they're their own thing. So, well, yeah. And let me know how you guys feel about all the Pokemon. Just let me know how you feel about this game in general. So yeah. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as find me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. So what's next, guys? Well, if you guys know me, you already know what the next Let's Play is going to be. It's Final Fantasy, or it's Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I honestly cannot wait for that game. That game's probably already out. I'm probably already starting playing by the time this part comes out, but I can't wait. And I hope you guys are excited to watch that, too. And, of course, we still have Harvest Stella going on, which I'm honestly surprised. Holy shit, that game keeps on going. I honestly thought we'd be done with the story bits, at least. But, nope, it keeps going. Which I'm not complaining too much about, so. Of course, live streams, we got God of War, Ragnarok, and... And as of right now, I don't know if I'm going to make the Kalisto Protocol a full live stream series or not. I'm going to do a second one, which, obviously, by the time this has already come out, has already been done. But still, let me know. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video once again. And I'll see you all in the next Let's Play and Impossible DLC. Bye!